With Smash Ultimate coming out soon, I had one concern at the forefront of my mind. Oh my god, Square Enix isn't gonna let Geno be DLC, but I had another concern too. Input lag. Back in the Mega Man X Legacy Collection episode of Button to Pixel, we discovered that the USB mode for controllers on the Switch added 13 milliseconds of latency to the Pro Controller. The penalty was really high, almost a whole additional frame of lag, and I started to worry. Is the GameCube adapter going to suffer a severe lag penalty on Smash Ultimate? Also, how much input lag does a WaveBird controller add to the equation? Well, today we're gonna find out on Button to Pixel. This input lag's getting crazy. Let's rock! <laughs> to find out how much lag might be added by the Switch's USB mode, we set up Mega Man 11, which is a fairly responsive Switch game, with a Pro Controller, normal GameCube and WaveBird controllers, and we tested both the brand new GameCube adapter and the old GameCube adapter that came with Smash 4. As it turns out, the new GameCube adapter and the original Wii U release both have lower input lag than the Switch Pro Controller, which is surprising given our results for the USB mode for controllers in the X Legacy Collection video. How did this happen? Well, either A, the Switch got a firmware update that may have improved USB polling rates since the X Legacy Collection video, or B, the GameCube adapter with its dual USB madness may have never had as much input lag as the Switch Pro Controller in USB mode. Huh, well that's a relief off my shoulders, but wait! I had another pressing thought, and I must quench my thirst for knowledge before setting off to test the rest of the Smash Brothers games. Is it possible to hook up two GameCube adapters to the Switch at once? I want to use eight GameCube controllers simultaneously. In theory, the USB 3.0 ports on the Switch should have more than enough bandwidth to feed the four USB 2.0 class ports that the two GameCube adapters would use. So I hooked up my Anchor USB 3.0 hub, and it worked. All eight players you're seeing here in Super Bomberman R are GameCube controllers. Here's all eight of them hooked up in a giant mess via two GameCube adapters hooked up to my Anchor USB 3.0 hub, which itself is powered by a dedicated power brick. But does it affect input lag? We did 25 more tests on a GameCube controller hooked up to the Wii U version of the GameCube adapter while seven other controllers were hooked up and we had less input lag? Wait, what? We even took 13 more samples just to be sure we didn't get oddball samples for a total of 38 just to see if that would change anything. And it basically didn't. The results went up by 0.81 milliseconds, which is a 20th of a frame and is definitely within the margin of error. This is ridiculous. I'm guessing the settings on the Anchor USB 3.0 powered hub would force the switch to act in a way that would reduce input lag, but that's, that's all I can figure out. So if you were using a WaveBird on a GameCube adapter that's plugged directly into the Switch, and then you switched over to using an Anchor USB 3.0 hub and a normal GameCube controller, you would cut almost a whole frame of input lag according to our tests. That's kind of nuts. Admittedly, a chunk of that is from the WaveBird, but whatever, this is kind of crazy. I wonder how this might apply to Smash Ultimate and if such a thing is possible with Smash for Wii U. Well, with these weird tests done, I'm off to find out what the input lag of the Smash Bros series has been over the years. If you appreciate research on input lag and think it should be an important part of the discussion around video games, then please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and maybe even support us on Patreon because it helps us buy the equipment necessary to test the input lag. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for another episode of Button to Pixel. This month's Gigavids were brought to you by our glorious executive producers, Vincent Pover, Nicholas Cameron, E. Lee Broyles, Brendan O'Sullivan, Star Falcon, Trouncing Trogdor, Space Man Spiff, Melezra, Danny Richardson, Dryzart, and Wardonis. Thank you to all of our executive producers, and also these guys. Head on over to patreon.com slash gigboots today so we can make more videos like this.
shit. 